Hey everybody, I'm Bucket and thank you for watching. So this is going to be a little bit shorter video, I think. Um, I've just spent so much time focusing on trying to get the guitar to a point where I can start recording again, which is the final steps of the assembly. Really, you guys don't need or want to watch the true oil process. Putting a layer down, letting it sit for two hours or whatever I do overnight if it needs to, to harden a layer um, before scuffing and so on. It's just tedious. It's boring. Um, so uh, I want to cut this down this time because the next video should be the final reveal, I think. Um, oh, I didn't shave my head this morning. Uh, yeah, I think I think the next video is going to be the final reveal. Um, I'm looking at the, the guitar in front of me right now, and I just did some more oil on the headstock because I had one little divot that I wanted to fix. Um, and it was my own doing. I just, you know, I'm my own worst critic and I want it perfect, at least perfect for me. We're gonna go through this. I'll show you at the start of the, the project, I have the front of the guitar all scuffed up and then you're gonna see it all nice and shiny and a couple little things that I've done, a couple little mistakes that I fixed up to the next video, which is going to come Sunday. Um, what's that gonna be? Sunday, August uh, 23rd. That should be the final assembly video. And then there will be a full, what I've learned, um, full playability, everything that I've done to it as far as customizations, and just an all around full synopsis of the project. And then we'll move on to the next exciting project, which I'm excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned and let's see where this goes. The red on the back is done. The red on the sides is done. The back binding is done. This side of the top binding is done. Um, as I add more true oil, the top part of the binding is getting fixed. I did have to strip this almost completely down. I'm doing what I can with the space that I have, but I have a plan for that. I'm actually gonna build a little mobile workbench. What I'm doing is I'm getting the guitar ready for its final coats of true oil. This is already pretty thick on here. This is uh, 12 coats of true oil. I am currently working on sanding, or I'm sorry, steel wooling a layer down because if I take this wet rag and I go over it right here, we're gonna see some, well, not so much right there because I've already worked on it. Let's find a spot. Yeah, see all these little dimples here? We want them gone. Those are dust specks. This, this is fine, this is scuffed up, it's not going to hurt anything. This is 4 aught steel wool, so four zeros. And you're just going to gently go back and forth. I like to go in the direction that I put the stain on, but every once in a while I'll go a little bit sideways to give it a little more cut. And then I'll go in circles to smooth out. And then I take, which is on the other side of the garage right now, my gray uh, scotch Bright pad and go over it again. And then my white scotch Bright pad and go over it again to shine things up. This removes a lot of scratches. It makes it an almost mirror finish because it's so fine. And you will see here, we have one here and here, 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 and here. So that gives me place to look and I can also go over it with the rag and wherever I see a raised area is where we fix it. So I'm going to continue with this process. We are almost down to the final coats of green and then I can untape this, give it a complete wet sand and buff. I am so excited. quite shiny. I've already started to take my uh, gray scotch Bright pad to knock down what a little bit of dust and stuff remains. And then I have various sandpapers from 6,000 to 12,000 grit that I'm going to go over this wet sand. And then I'm going to buff it and we're going to have a nice beautiful shine. The reason I like to use the gray scotch Bright pad over the steel wool for the final cut down 
because steel wool can actually leave some deeper little scratches in your finish, whereas the gray scratch bright will not. So this is just being used to knock down the top layer of the uh, true oil and is gonna help remove any of the dirt nubs. So whenever I go into the wet sanding process, everything comes out really nice and smooth. And I'm not putting any pressure. I am just lightly going back and forth in the direction of how I put on all the clear. Then I will go across it in this direction. And then I have one that's attached to my buffer that I'll go at a slow speed across it and that'll level anything out. And then I'll start to hand sand. I need to go and get a slightly more aggressive polish. I'm actually using Chemical Guys V34 on this. And this is just a tad too light. As you can see, it's barely touching these little uh, surface scratches. And it has taken care of the swirls. There's a couple areas here, like you see right here in this light, that it just, it's not touching that. So I need to go with a slightly more aggressive compound. I do have this stuff, but it's all liquidy and it's old as heck. So I don't want to use it. Um, I'm going to go get something better and then get back to it. Now I'm going to work on polishing the back of the guitar. I'm going to start with my Chemical Guys yellow pad and V32 optical grade extreme compound loaded onto my quarter cable 7424 XP. And while I work, I am listening to The Ghost Inside's new album, The Ghost Inside. I'm going to use Chemical Guys V34 optical grade hybrid compound with the orange pad. Tonight, as far as the actual body goes, minus some fingerprints and stuff, we are good to go. The sides are absolutely beautiful. I don't know if we're going to get any reflection in the camera. The back came out gorgeous. Both sides are done. I am... Um, I did chip away some of the binding in some of the areas because it was just so thick the uh, true oil hadn't cured in those areas. So I scraped away the binding. I already polished this up, but I'm gonna take these areas off and just add a couple more coats of true oil and then level it out. That way I can re-yellow this binding to match everything because I got a shipment of the last parts that we need 
and our rings are going to be green. So we want them to match the guitar as best as possible. I just want to fix that up. I'm going to take a couple extra coats just on the binding and it only puts me back about a half a day. I still have some work to do on the headstock that I don't want to show right now because I do have a logo applied and I'm not ready to show the logo that comes later. And uh, should everything go well, I can start putting the hardware in. 